Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to find out moment of inertia of a circular disk about an axis passing to center perpendicular to the plane. You know, moment of inertia is the product of mass of each particle of the body with the square of the distance from the axis of rotation and the summation of all these particles together. It is the property of the body which tells you how easy it is or how difficult it is to put a body in rotational motion. I mean to say, if moment of inertia is more, it is difficult to rotate the body and it demands more torque and vice versa. Let us consider a body like a circular disc. This is what our circular disc is. And we want the moment of inertia of this circular disc. About an axis passing to center perpendicular to the plane. I am showing it with a dotted line. So what I need to do as for the definition is I have to find the moment of inertia of each particle. That is mass of that particle with the square of the distance from the axis of rotation and add all of them together. That is mathematically done with a process called something like integration. Let me explain what I mean by that. Let us consider a thin strip within the circular disk. Let this is the strip, inner surface and this is the strip's outer surface. So this is the strip that I have taken into consideration. I would like to say the disc is a combination of so many strips like this. So I will find the moment of inertia of one strip and I will integrate therefore I will get the total moment of inertia. Let me assume this strip is at a distance of x from the axis of rotation. The strip is definitely having some thickness. Let its thickness is something like dx. That means its inner surface is at a distance x, outer surface is at a distance of x plus dx. Whereas radius of this disk is nothing but equal to r. So being the disk is a two dimensional body, moment of inertia of that uh, thin strip moment of inertia of the imaginary strip that we have taken is mass of that body and the square of the distance from the axis of rotation as we have assumed the distance is x dm into x square how can i get the dm total mass of the body by the total area of the strip being a circular disk area is nothing but equal to pi r square and area of the strip that gives dm and of course x square let us try to find out area of the strip Area of the strip is area of the outer ring minus area of the inner ring because outer ring is this one, inner ring is this one. If I do that, I will get the area of that strip. So, area of outer ring minus area of inner ring area of the outer ring is pi of x plus dx whole square using the formula pi r square minus area of the inner ring is pi x square pi of x square a plus b whole square formula dx square and 2x dx 
minus pi x square. So taking pi common x square dx square 2x dx minus x square. Now x square can be cancelled. So I'll be getting the area of that strip now. What is that? Area equal to pi of dx square plus 2x dx. But as we have mentioned, dx itself is a small value. It implies dx square is very small and can be ignored. Let us ignore it. So I will get the area of that part as pi 2x dx. Substituting this value in this equation, I will get the moment of inertia of a small strip dA as dm is total mass by total area pi r square and area of that strip 2 pi x dx and another x square is there, this x square. Now pi and pi also can be cancelled. So I can write dA as 2m by r square x square and x x cube dx. This is the moment of energy of the small strip only. There are so many strips like this. I have to calculate the moment of energy of each strip and to get the total moment of energy I have to add all of them together. That is done using the mathematical phenomena called integration. Therefore, to get total moment of inertia, we shall integrate the above equation. Let us integrate the above equation for the sides. Integral of di equal to integral of 2m by r square x cube by dx. Integral of differentiation is I. 2m by r square being constant can be taken outside integration. Integral of x cube dx where x is the location of that strip which can vary from center to the radius that is outer periphery. These are called limits of the integration. Let us simplify this equation further. We know something like That's the formula integration. Integral of x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. Taking that into consideration, moment of inertia from this equation. 2m by r square is constant. Integral of x cube is x power 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 where x value varies from 0 to r which are called as lower limit and the upper limit of integration. Simplifying it further, x power 4 by 4 from 0 to r, 1, 2 can be cancelled, r, 2m by r square, r power 4 by 4 minus 0 power 4 by 4 applying upper limit minus lower limit as per the integration rule that is 2m by r square r power 4 by 4 that is nothing but equal to m r square by 2 thus moment of inertia of a circular disk about an axis passing through center perpendicular to the plane is nothing but equal to r square by 2. Once if you know this about other different symmetrical axes you can calculate the moment of inertia using parallel axis theorem and perpendicular axis theorem. Thank you for watching.
keep coming back for more and more good lessons thank you